David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, Now your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. And she tied you to a kitchen chair, she broke your throne and she cut your hair. Say I took the name in vain I don't even know the name But if I did, well really What's it to you? There's a blaze of a light in every word It doesn't matter what you've heard The holy heart I did my best, it wasn't much I couldn't feel, so I tried to touch I've told the truth, I didn't come to fool ya And even though it all went wrong I'll stand before the Lord of song With nothing on my tongue But hallelujah Good evening, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays. We bring you season greetings live here from the Margaret Upton Conservatory of Music at Olivet College. Christmas is a time for laughter, generosity, and bringing your loved ones together. We also know this is a time for grieving for some, where you reflect on those you may have lost or you may be not physically with. Regardless of where you are and how you're feeling, we want to bring you the joy of music to lift up your spirits on today. <sighs> Isn't God good? As we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my name is Faith Sams and I'll be your lovely host this musical evening. So bring your families and friends together as we celebrate and as the Gospel Choir of Olivet College brings you Oh Holy Christmas.
copper kettles with warm woolen mittens. Wow, I love this song so much. It got to feature many of our talented students as soloists. Fun fact for you, My Favorite Things wasn't originally a Christmas song. Rogers and Hammerstein wrote it for the sound of music. Yes, the sound of music. But when the legendary Julie Andrews performed it live for the Gary Moore TV holiday special in 1961, it quickly became a holiday classic. Speaking of classics, Another fan favorite is, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, written by Meredith Wilson. And this version has recently been made famous by Michael Buble. We're going to take you now to Southfield, Michigan, where Jared, sophomore Jared Ingram, will perform his own cover, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the fire of tin It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of body and bin. 
My favorite Christmas um, traditions that we do, we've been going caroling for about the last, I'm gonna say five years. So every year me and my mom put a mashup of Christmas songs together and then depending on the year, it can extend to our cousins and we go out, we bake cookies and then we go to some of our friends' houses and we sing for them and then give them the baked goods. It's about making people happy. It's tis the season. You're supposed to make other people feel the way you'd want to be treated at this time of year. And a lot of people are unfortunate and don't have the same experiences that you might have. So our goal is to go out and make people feel special. The beautiful thing about the holiday season is, it's celebrated across many different cultures and generations. From the classical pieces like Carol of the Bells to the jazzy performances on the Charlie Brown Christmas. This music, there's musically something for everyone. This song made waves back in the day for being Christmas hit written by completely by African Americans. Don't we love inclusivity? Here's the Olivet College Gospel Choir performing Hathaway's hit this Christmas, led by Christopher Jackson as lead vocalist and Stevie Wonder Jr. Hannah Newsom on piano.
angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest, and peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us.
Hallelujah. Now, some people can sing, but some people can sing. That was Destiny Clark from Cleveland, Ohio, and senior Samantha McPherson from Detroit, Michigan, performing Now Behold the Lamb by Kurt Franklin. This year in OCG, we had a heart to help foster children in Michigan. We chose to support Samaritas, a nonprofit foster program working to support and place children and teens who have fled from their country, fell victim to human trafficking, or are experiencing homelessness. Hi, Lauren, how are you? Hey, Faith, good, how are you doing? I am doing well. I just have a few questions for you. This may be probably one of the shortest meetings you could ever probably have with anyone. Um, so of course I do know that Samaritas is a nonprofit um, organization who is helping children um, flee from different countries, human trafficking, um, and even, you know, homeless. And I think this is an awesome thing you guys are doing. I just have, my only question is, can you tell me a little bit more about your organization? and yeah. how, I'm sorry, and how our viewers can help support the great work you are doing. Yeah, of course. Um, so like you mentioned, Samaritas, you know, we have a lot of programs, which what is what kind of what makes us so unique. Um, you know, we help children, we help families, we help seniors, we help refugees. So pretty much run the gamut um, of the entire community. We're actually, one of Michigan's largest nonprofits. Um, so we are, uh, we serve all of the lower state of Michigan and we help probably about 14,000 people each year. Um, and we're faith-based. So we take a lot of pride in being a faith-based organization that helps so many people. Um, our largest program that we have is foster care. Um, so foster care, we serve about 800 children each day. Um, and there's about 14,000 foster children in Michigan alone. So we really provide for a good chunk of those kids um, in Michigan, which is kind of our pride and joy um, being our biggest program with Samaritas. So um, we also help serve, like you mentioned, um, refugees. So we help find them homes, um, get them resettled into America, teaching them English, get them jobs. Um, we also have programs that help people with disabilities. So we have private residential facilities and they receive 24 hour care um, in these facilities that are across Michigan. Um, we also, it, the list just keeps going on. We have um, affordable housing communities for um, seniors and also for families. So people that are able to live in a clean environment in a healthy community. Um, and a supportive community at an affordable rate for low income families and seniors. And then we offer um, like your traditional senior residential facility that has memory care rehab, um, you know, where people can kind of live and, um, and be safe and be well taken care of around the clock. Wow, that is so awesome. Yeah. It's a yeah. mouthful. <laughs> that is so All awesome. good stuff. <laughs> yeah, and that's what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. Um, we wanted to know more about this program, and we wanted our viewers to know more. For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And that's our whole mission. You know, our, our mission statement is serving people as an expression of the love of Christ. So that is our, that's what drives us and that's our mission focus. So yes. um, yeah, it's, it's important work that everybody's doing. And, and we, it's not possible without people donating and helping like you guys are doing and helping to spread the word. Um, because honestly, Faith, like people tell me that all the time. I can't believe I'm just learning about your organization. And, you know, we've been around for so long. So it takes a lot of people to spread the word and to get, to learn about Samaritas and what we're doing. So thank yeah. you guys for, for doing that for us. I couldn't ask for nothing better to speak about during this gospel show, honestly. So Aww. I'm really glad to know more about this. Yeah, really thank good. you. And that like is, you mentioned, if people oh. want to help, um, you know, support our programs, donating is the biggest help. Um, so you can go right on to our website at Samaritas.org and there's a donate button. You can choose either to support all of our programs or um, every donor has the option to support a specific program, you know, whether it's our refugee program, foster care, 
um, affordable housing, you have those options on there to, to put your money directly towards a program or to help Perfect. overall. All right. Thank well, you. you guys, anything else? Like, honestly, don't hesitate to reach out or, you know, okay. available anytime. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, Faith. Great meeting you. Great. Good one. You too. Many of us grew up believing in Santa Claus. If we closed our eyes and fell asleep, he would come to our roof with his magical, magical reindeer, pop through our chimney, and fill the bottom of our tree with presents. We know there's a lot to believe in, and miracles are happening every day. With faith that grows like a mustard seed, we wait with eager expectations for healing, financial breakthroughs, and favor to get the opportunity of our dreams. So what are you believing for? Here's, Jale here's Junior's Jalicia Blue and Melania Alfor performing the Academy Award winning song by Stephen Schwartz, When You Believe.
Oh, here. 
That was a beautiful arrangement by Tudor Bismarck of South Africa and a demonstration of how the birth of Christ has its influence across many different cultures and nations. This song was originally written as a French poem called Cante de Noel and was later translated and rewritten by John Sullivan Dwight in the United States. So, no matter your language, culture, history, the story of love and joy touches everyone, including me, and you, meeting you right where you are. To me, Christmas means taking the time to slow down and to spend time with the people that we love most, um, our family, our friends, and in some cases that means upholding certain traditions. In my family, for example, every year we make these Slovakian Christmas cookies. We've been doing it for generations and it's something that I like to continue because it instills good memories and it's great for the holiday. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe will help to make the season bright. Tiny little tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep. Tonight, they know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if Reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering the simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 And although it's been said Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you.
to Reverend Don Christensen and the Covenant Association of the UCC Michigan Conference for sponsoring this program. This could not have happened without you. Without you, we wouldn't have had this show. We really do appreciate it. And thank you to all of our media and production students who are working behind cameras doing this, those who edit this video, thank you so much. And thank you to Olivet College for your support and giving us the opportunity to showcase our gifts for God's glory. Remember to donate to Samaritas, the nonprofit organization working hard for children all over Michigan. Thank you. Now we're not just gonna leave you with no encouragement or anything. So, let's go.
was done, please. Hey, it's yet to come, Jesus Christ.